YouTube, not your average trucker. Coming to you on a um, my days running together, man. I had a long week. I believe today's Wednesday, man. Wednesday, April the third. Uh, let's figure I'll shoot a quick video. Oh, man, I still got the bracelet on. Um, you know, had my fourth child yesterday, man. Wife went into labor at midnight on uh april the second spent the entire night in the uh in the freaking hospital baby wasn't born until 11 a.m so you know we were there almost 12 hours before she even oh went into labor man um you know that was baby number four for me i have two boys and two girls now uh, my oldest daughter is 20. Um, I have a 20 year old daughter, a nine year old son, a two year old son, and now a newborn daughter, man. So I'm officially retired, man. I made sure my wife got all the parts removed, you know, the reproductive parts. Uh, she wants me to do the same, but, you know, I told her I ride around in a bumpy truck sometimes, and, uh, you know, that procedure might not be the best for me. Uh, it's funny because I planned on taking a couple weeks off anyway, you know, since we had the baby. And I was, uh, you know, with her at the hospital today. You know, the baby was born yesterday. And then, you know, all my local guys each had three runs to do today. My over-the-road guys already had their, um, you know, their assignments. And I realized there was one load left that I didn't have a truck for, you know? So I was in a, a situation where I had more loads than uh, than trucks, or more loads than drivers, I should say. And the option was either I could put it on the load board and just, you know, sell it to somebody else, let them uh, pick it up and do it. Or I could just, uh, you know, run down here really quick and, and pick it up. So as you can see, I'm sitting in my truck, so obviously I chose to just come pick it up myself. I had one of my other guys deliver it for me. But, uh, so, naturally, my wife is upset <laughs> that I left to come, you know, get a load. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I was there to support her during the whole, um, you know, delivery process. I've been sitting in the hospital with her ever since. Um, I even flew my mother-in-law in town for her to um you know watch the kids while we were in the hospital so you know i've done my part man and me leaving for a couple hours shouldn't really be a big deal oh but that's the hard part man it's it's funny because you know most of these jobs out here you know the woman gets you know maternity leave so she might have anywhere from six weeks to three months off to chill at home with the baby and I never really knew what the uh, process was for males you know what I mean so I think that's funny man because at the end of the day you want to be home to uh you know help your wife or your girlfriend or whatever with the baby but for the most part you're not really doing anything you know what I mean I guess that's why they don't really consider having paternity leave I guess I know some some places do it, man. Some places give you a lot of time off. Like I told y'all in a previous video, I had a driver, I had a baby this past September, and I gave him two weeks off. But I don't know. You know, that's what I got to thinking about while I was just sitting in a freaking hospital. It's like, um, you know, what am I really doing? I'm not really helping her do anything. You know, I'm just holding the baby and my wife's over there asleep. I, mean, I don't know. But like I said, I planned on just taking the two weeks off, man. But, you know, obviously I broke that plan because I'm here now. I probably won't work tomorrow or the uh, the next day. Just play it by ear. But today was just a weird day where I had more loads than uh, available drivers. And rather than um, sell it to another company, you know, because I could have put it on low board, no problem. Loads paying me uh, extremely well. So even if I'd have broken this load out, I probably still would have made $200 at least off of it. But, nah, it is what it is. 
But I just thought I'd shoot a quick video, man. Um, another funny thing, we had the baby. We, my, my wife and I couldn't decide on a name this entire time. You know, the whole nine week, nine month pregnancy, we could not agree on a name because my wife is mad at me because she all, she wanted to give the baby um, uh, like a Christian name or whatever. And um. I just figured those Christian names, you know, they've all been done, and they're all super old school, you understand? We talking about 2,000-year-old names and all that. So me and her were bump heads, man, because um, we didn't name our other three kids any Christian names or whatever, so, and she really wanted to name my, my last son a Christian name, and we ended up naming him Maxwell, so she's really, uh stuck on it this time and i i just knew i didn't want to do it i didn't have any better options i didn't have any better names but i just knew i didn't want to um you know i'm not trying to name her mary or none of that none of that stuff so it was just hilarious man because the baby's born she's here the nurses in the room the doctors all our family and friends hey what's her name what's her name and we sitting there like Ugh. So that's hilarious, man. I think we decided on a name today. So my daughter's been a, you know, she was born over 24 hours ago. And she just got a name today. I think we rolling with like Madeline. Um, the funny thing is she hadn't done the birth certificate yet. And I just left to do a load. So who knows? I might come back and my daughter might have a whole nother name. So we'll see. But it's your guy, not your average trucker, man. I, I definitely appreciate y'all uh, hitting me up, man. I appreciate all the support, man. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Um, you can hit me up on Instagram, trucker, not your average. Uh, you can hit me up on email, trucker, not your average, at gmail.com. And please keep in mind, um, I get a lot of messages on Instagram. I get a lot of emails. And people always uh, hit me up and just put their phone number in it and say, yo, call me, rather than just leaving a, a message. And um, I'm a busy guy, man. You know, I have multiple employees for my trucking company. I also run a real estate company. And I'm not really a phone dude, man. So I can pretty much guarantee you, if you leave me your phone number, it's a 0% chance of me actually calling you, man. However, if you message me, you send me an email, you message me on Instagram, I reply 100% of the time, 100%. Even the negative messages I get, I'll reply with an emoji just to let you know I read it. So if you really want to get in contact with me, hit me up, but type out your question or your problem or your solution or whatever. <coughs> Don't ask me to call you because there's a 0% chance that I'm going to call you. I'm a busy guy, man. I make these videos when I'm sitting for a second. Uh, getting loaded or unloaded or something, you understand? I mean, I don't like talking on the phone, man. I only talk to my, like my wife and kids on the phone. Like, I love my grandma. My grandma, my favorite person on the world. 90% of the time, me and my grandma's texting. So if I'm texting my grandma or texting my father <coughs> or texting my mother versus actually calling them, what makes you think I'm going to call some you know, one of my YouTube subscribers, man, unless it's, you know, really, really urgent, but it probably won't ever be that urgent, so, anyway, truckernotyourAverage at Gmail, truckernotyourAverage on Instagram, I definitely, definitely appreciate all y'all, I apologize for looking uh, disheveled and tired, because, you know, I ain't slept in two days, seriously, and uh, it's been fun trying to get my two-year-old son to understand that he now has a little sister like he's looking at the baby like what in the world is this so it is what it is but you got not your average trucker everybody out there be safe be easy keep the hammer down panthers keep pounding hornets we win the nba championship one day y'all be easy you hurt